The battle for control of Celtic Football Club appears to be over. A board meeting has been going on all day to decide the club's future. A Canadian millionaire, Fergus McCann, and a Scottish businessman, Brian Dempsey, have pledged new money for Celtic, which has been on the edge of receivership. Mr McCann's expected to be appointed chief executive. The Celtic fans celebrating the appointment of a new board at their Parkhead Stadium tonight. After talks which lasted all day, the man who had saved Celtic from the receivers by stumping up a million pounds to pay off some of the club's many creditors said the final details of the takeover were being clarified by lawyers. It's a matter of the, the lawyers sorting certain technicalities out between them. If you want to stay on, can I ask you to have patience, be helpful to the police, remember what we're here for, and we'll be out very, very shortly, I hope with the best possible news, so please. It's understood the deputy chairman, David Smith, has agreed to resign, along with two fellow directors, and they'll sell their controlling shares to other board members. The Canadian tycoon, Fergus McCann, who arrived at the club this afternoon, will be appointed chief executive after a meeting of the new board next week. For more than a year, fans disgruntled at the lack of success on the field and the financial chaos of it have been calling for the board's resignation and have boycotted games. It's a far cry from the glory days of 1967 when the Lisbon Lions' defeat of Inter Milan brought the European Cup to Britain for the first time. But since winning the league and cup double in 1988, success has been in short supply as their bitter old firm rivals have gone from strength to strength. The takeover brings to an end a long and at times farcical battle for control of one of Britain's most famous clubs. The tough task now for the new board is to restore Celtic to its former glory. Andrew Castle, BBC News, Parkhead.